Welcome everyone. Hello everyone. This video is about a brave diabetic registered nurse. Come and join me to find out how she defeated diabetes and how the new health innovation and technologies saved her life. Are you familiar with CGM or continuous glucose monitoring? A new technology that syncs with your mobile phones and enables to continuously monitor your sugar level? But first let me briefly tell you who I am. My name is Jordia. I am a Filipino-American registered nurse, OFW, a traveler, and founder of Care to Heal and Can Travel Dove's channels. So, I want to introduce to you a 23 years old registered nurse who works night shift. She was diagnosed of type 1 diabetes at the age of 14 years old. For security purposes, I will call her Diana. I got the opportunity to interview her while working in a medical surgical inpatient unit. Diana had a challenging teenager life. Her family does not have a history of diabetes. No hereditary traits or genetic related disease that can lead to type 1 diabetes. Managing her disease as a young teenager resulted into multiple life and death experiences. She had an experience wherein she was asleep and her blood sugar level tanked low. There were some scenario that her blood sugar went too high and needed to be admitted for interventions. Currently, she was so thankful with the science evolution and invention of devices to automatically monitor her blood sugar level. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a chronic medical condition characterized by high levels of glucose, sugar, in the blood. It occurs when the body cannot produce enough insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar, or cannot effectively use the insulin it produces. There are mainly two types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. People with type 1 diabetes require daily insulin injections to manage their blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes, more common than type 1, this form of diabetes is largely the result of excess body weight and physical inactivity. Here, the body either resists the effects of insulin or doesn't produce enough insulin to maintain normal glucose levels. Type 2 diabetes can sometimes be managed through lifestyle changes, oral medications, and in some cases, insulin. There is also a condition known as gestational diabetes, which occurs during pregnancy and typically resolves after giving birth, though it increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Diabetes can lead to serious health complications, including heart disease, kidney failure, blindness, and lower limb amputation, making early diagnosis and proper management crucial. Living the Night Shift, a diabetic nurse's story of adaptation. Diana have medical condition downfalls at times working on a night shift. Incidents like her blood sugar becomes erratic and she needs to take a quick break for her to correct her sugar level. She needs to take juices and diabetic meal to increase her sugar level. At times, the device patch loosens up or may require further reinforcement. It is not easy to work at night if you are diabetic. While at work, she makes sure that her insulin pump are working properly and has enough medicine into it. She expressed that the invention of new blood glucose level monitoring system, partnered with insulin pumps made her life better and more normal. Before we continue Diana's story. What exactly is CGM? Or continuous glucose monitoring. It is a method for tracking glucose levels in real time throughout the day and night. It involves the use of a small sensor, typically inserted under the skin of the abdomen or arm, which measures the glucose levels in the interstitial fluid, the fluid between cells. This sensor tests glucose every few minutes and transmits the data wirelessly to a display device, such as a smartphone, smartwatch, or a dedicated receiver, allowing the user to monitor their glucose levels in almost real time. CGM systems can alert users if their glucose levels are too high, hyperglycemia, or too low, hypoglycemia, enabling them to take immediate action to mitigate health risks. These systems are particularly beneficial for people with diabetes, 
offering a more comprehensive picture of glucose trends throughout the day compared to traditional finger stick measurements. This continuous feedback can help with more precise adjustments in diet, physical activity, and medication, including insulin dosing. This continuous feedback can help with more precise adjustments in diet, physical activity, and medication, including insulin dosing. Some CGM systems require calibration with finger stick measurements, while others are factory calibrated and do not. The technology has been a significant advancement in diabetes management, promoting tighter glucose control and improved quality of life for many people with diabetes. So in Diana's story, the CGM system monitors her blood sugar level continuously and deliver insulin shots according to the result. These devices works 24-7. So after work, she can eat and go to sleep without worrying that she needs to check her blood sugar and inject insulin. The device also alarms and vibrate to notify the patient that the blood sugar becomes critical in level. She uses a particular brand from Dexcom products. The devices are linked directly into her mobile phone. Navigating Diabetes in a Family-Free Zone The absence of hereditary diabetes in her family made her wonder and felt isolated during the diagnosis of her disease. Dealing with the uniqueness of her condition within her family was not easy. She needed to completely change her lifestyle, diet, and daily routine according to the management of her disease. Although her family became her support system that helped her to pass all the avenues of coping mechanisms, her psychosocial aspects suffered. However, the Dexcom products made her life easier and simple to manage. This new health technology gave her hope and better quality of life. She looked ahead. How to connect diabetes and family planning? Diana is about to get married this year. She worries about the potential genetic implications for her future children. The increased risk of diabetes in offspring and how to be prepared occupies her thoughts. Personal sentiments on family planning with diabetes may be difficult to navigate. Also, she needs to be double careful in planning her pregnancy. Professional perspectives on diabetes management during pregnancy is a must for her. She needs to be meticulous with her diet to make sure that her baby will be healthy. There are many people out there who experiences what Diana experiences. So, I encourage everyone to think and live healthy. Being sick is not the end of everything. The new health technologies are getting better and better. Do not lose hope. I hope you enjoyed this video. I highly appreciate your time and comments. Kindly leave a short comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. See you in my next video.